Hello, Didier Stevens here, Senior Handler at the Internet Storm Center. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my tools to crack VBA project passwords of malicious documents. So I developed a new plugin for my OLEDAM tool. The plugin is called Plugin VBA Project. And when you give it an Office document with VBA, and that VBA project is password protected. Then the plugin will detect this, tell you that it is password protected and also show you the hashes that you can use with John the Ripper or Hashcat to crack the password. But if that password to be cracked is in the public domain list of passwords used by John the Ripper, then my plugin will be able to tell you also the password and because I've included that word list in my plugin. So here it is protected with password 1234 and the plugin has detected this. So I can now, for example, if I want to crack this with hashcat, hashcat use this hash. So I can say here, Hashcat attack mode 3. So the hash that we are going to use is uh, 110. So the hash that is used for VBA projects is the SHA1 of the password with a salt, and that salt is just 4 bytes, and that's the salt that you see here. And um, the password is also represented in multi-byte uh, character set. Hmm. So if it is just ASCII, and then it is represented uh, in ASCII. But if it is uh, more complex like Unicode, yeah, then it is uh, represented in MBCS. Hmm. So this mode 110. The salt is provided in hexadecimal. So you have to use option X, salt. Uh, I include these two options here in the output uh, to remember them. And then before I start cracking, I'm going to use a couple of other options here. I don't want a pot file. Optimized. And I'm going to select quite output uh, so that we only see the crack result. And then I just copy paste this hash like this. Okay, and here Hashcat has cracked the passport one two three four. You can also have the case that you are trying to crack a VBA project password that is not in that site at shortlist like this and then you just get the hashes and of course not the, the password so I can do that with uh, John the Ripper here because the password that I selected my name Didier is in the Rockview uh, password list so I can do that now for John the Ripper I need to write this hash in the file. I cannot provide the hash directly as a command line argument. I have to write this to a file. And I'm escaping this because of the dollar signs. So demo.hash. And then I can gen just uh, gen run John. I'm going to create a pod file here. And the word list that I'm going to use is the ROQ. And then here, demo hash. And as you can see here, it has recovered the password uh, Didier. If there is no VBA password, then 
the plugin will tell you that too like here no password and then the VBA project is not password protected now the the reason that you would want to crack a VBA project password yeah it's just for the fun of it or maybe that you might think that there is uh, some intel uh, in in the name in the password that was uh, selected by the adversaries mm. to to look at the VBA code itself you don't need that password at all because that password is just there to protect the VBA code by the integrated uh, developer environment by the IDE the code itself is not encoded or encrypted by that password and it's still readable in clear text if you run my OLEDAM tool directly on this document here uh, where the VBA code is password protected you can see the streams and now if I select stream 3 and decompress the VBA code I can just see the VBA code directly mm -hmm. so that password uh, is no hindrance at all to do the analysis mm -hmm. what I'm showing here is if you have some interest in recovering the password for other purposes mm -hmm. then this can be useful and for your information that password is stored in the project stream that project stream is a kind of ini file let me show you you can dump this like this mm -hmm. So if it is password protected, if the VBA project is password protected, then the ID will be a null grid, all, all zeros for that grid. If you see that, then you know that it is password protected. And the password hash, so the SHA-1 of the password plus uh, salt, that is stored here in that value, DPB. So that contains the hash and thi this itself is encoded and my plugin will do the decoding and then show you the hash in the proper format for John the Ripper or for Hashcat. If you select a document that is not password protected, so I mean the VBA project is not password protected, then you can see here you have a grid. This will always change for each uh, document and you can see that the DPB is much shorter now the cmg and gc are also uh, values that are important for uh, the, the password protection that means that uh, one of them contains the state and the other one the, the visibility and also in encoded